Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today, as part of our Git tutorial series, I'm going to discuss Git tag and releases. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to create tags, how to list and delete them. We're gonna see what are different types of tag and how to create a release from a specific tag. So to start with, let's first discuss what a tag is. Tag is basically used to mark a point in a repository's history. A tag is like a branch which points to a specific commit. But unlike the branch, we cannot further commits on tag. A tag consists only one commit history or points to a single commit. The tag helps us to identify an important commit which contains major enhancement or bug fixes. And if anyone is interested in previous important commits, then they can always identify the important commits using these tags. And if we talk about releases, then releases are the end product which we provide to our users. So with different releases, we can provide different versions of the product to the users. Releases contains the links to download the binary files. Also, the release notes describing the changes in the current release. So these releases are different iterations of the product or software which are available to users for their download and uses. Releases are based on Git tags, which specify a point in the history of our Git repository. So after we tag our commit with a specific version, then we can create the release out of that tag. Now, if I move to my GitHub repository, then you can see that currently I don't have any tags created for this. So first let's see how we can create a tag. Let's open git bash over here. And if you want to see all the tags available in your repository, then you can type the command git tag. Currently we don't have any tag created, so it did not display anything over here. Now let me create a tag. And before creating it, we need to know that we can create two types of tag. One is annotate tags and the other one is lightweight tag. Now what is the difference between these two tags? When we create annotate tag, then it is stored as a full object in the Git database. Those tags contains all the informations like tagger name, email, date time, and tagging message. It's always recommended to create annotated tags so you can have all this information when you are searching for your commits. Now to create an annotated tags, you can simply type the command git tag hyphen a hyphen a is for annotated tag followed by the tag name. I'm going to tag it with version 1.0 and then provide the tagging message. And if I again type the git tag command, then now it will show one tag, which I have recently created. To get the tag information, we can type the command git show and then the tag name. Here you can see it displayed all the tag information like tagger name, date time, tagging message, and commit details. Now the second type of tag is lightweight tag. A lightweight tag is basically a pointer to a specific commit. So when you want to create a temporary tag and you don't want to keep the other information like tagger name, then you can use lightweight tags. To create a lightweight tag, you can simply type git tag followed by the tag name. I'm going to tag it with version 2.0. So here we don't need to provide the tagging message. And if I again type the git tag command, then now it will show both the tags which we created. Let's see the data for tag 2.0 by typing the command git show 2.0. Now you can see that it does not contain the information like tagger name, date time, and tagging message. 
it only contains the commit details. So this is how you can create annotated and lightweight tags. So there is one thing to note down here that the tags which we have created only exist in my local Git repository. If I move to my GitHub repository and refresh the page, then you can see it does not have any tag details over here. So the next thing is to push the tag from our local repository to the report server. And to do that, we need to type the command get push origin followed by the tag name. I'm going to push tag 1.0 to remote server. Here you can see the tag 1.0 is pushed to the GitHub repository. And if I move to my GitHub repository again and refresh the page, then you can see now it shows tag count as one. And if I click on this, then we can see the list of tags on this page. Right now, I have only one tag with version 1.0. So this is how we can push a tag to remote server. Now let's say if you have multiple tags and you want to push all the tags at one time. So you can use the git push hyphen hyphen tags command to move all your tags to the remote server that are not already there. Right now I have one tag which is not present on my GitHub repository. So let me create another tag. Now I have three tags in total and two are available at my local Git repository only. So to push both the tags to remote server, I can type the command git push origin hyphen hyphen tags hyphen hyphen tag is for pushing all the available tags at once. Here you can see that both the tags push to the remote server. And if I go to my GitHub repository, then here you can see now it lists all the three tags. So now we have seen how to create and push tags to remote server. Let's see how we can delete a tag. So let's go back to git bash. And then to delete a tag, we can type the command git tag hyphen D hyphen D is for deleting a tag and then providing the tag name which you want to delete. So the tag 2.1 has been deleted. And if I list the tag again, then now it won't display the tag 2.1 because it has been deleted. But again, this tag has been deleted from my local Git repository only. This is still available at my GitHub remote repository. So to remove the tag from remote server also, we need to type the command git push origin hyphen hyphen delete followed by tag name. Now let's go to the GitHub repository and refresh the page. So here we can see the tag 2.1 is deleted from the GitHub repository as well. Also, we can delete multiple tags at the same time. So let's go back to the Git bash. And first, let me create a new tag again. Now we have three tags again, and I want to delete these two tags at once. So to do that, I can type the command get tag hyphen D followed by the multiple tag name, which is 2.0 and 2.1 in our case. Both the tags have been deleted. So this is how you can delete a single or multiple tag from your local and remote repository. Now, sometimes we want to take the code from a specific tag and to get the code from the commit history, which was tagged with a specific version, we can type the command git checkout followed by the tag name. You can see here, now we have been moved to tag 
So these were the commands to create list and delete tags. Now let's move to the GitHub repository and we'll see how we can create a release out of a tag. I have these two tags available in my repository and I want to create a release from this tag 1.0. So to create the release, click on this tag and then click on this create release from tag button. Here you can see we have been moved to the release tab and it displays the tag from which I'm gonna create a release. After that, provide the release title. I'm adding the title as release 1.0. And then you can provide the release notes over here by describing what this release contains. So first I'm typing the release version in the header area. And then I'm gonna type this release as bug fixes and below enhancements. And then you can provide the list of enhancements like this. You can also add binaries over here of your product or software, which you want to provide to your end users. And if you want to create it as a pre-release, then you can check this option. And after that, finally click on publish release. Now you can see that a release has been created. And these are the release notes, which we can find under the release tab. So when a user browses to the repository, then he can see the latest release option over here. And he can click on this to download the latest source code of this release. So this is how you can create tags and releases from your GitHub repository. Please try it by yourself and for any doubts, put your comments in the comment box. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.